penalties, but we're here. All right, Towson is currently on the 10 count. Actually, that should be a little bit better. Yeah, Towson's currently on the 10 count right now. Reset throw. Oh, drop catch. Ooh, drop catch for Towson. All right, Tommy is going to throw on the left. Oh, the soft changeup did not work. Did not work for Ohio. Ohio State, that is. Team throw, not successful. 54, 52 misses target, Tommy pushing. Oh, wow, super aggressive. They're closing in, they're in range. They're gonna get that ball. Ohio State successfully get the ball. Now they're going to the back line. Reset throw, good for Towson. Reset throw, good for Towson. 52 with a throw, misses target. Got him. Good kill by number 14. He's in range and he's done. He was done. One play left to beat. Got him. Wait, he cannot get it. First point go to the Ohio State University. Here we go. All right, that's going to be a false start against Nate. If Towson gets another false start, uh, they will lose a player in this point. Here we go. All right, so Griffin's safe. Team throw, oh, Jay Freeman taking out number 24 of Ohio State. All right, let's see what Dylan is gonna do. He's thinking about it. Good reset throw. Side on throw from Freeman. Griffin Bass now taking his place. Here comes Joyce. Ooh, that's a catch. That's a catch for Ohio State. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, another kill for Towson. Good reset throw for Ohio State. Reset throw, good. Good block. Ooh, another kill. Ooh, wait a minute. Dylan Glear with the catch. And a kill. And a kill taking out Joyce in that exchange. Ooh. Well, my man Reese, number 10, unfortunately. Missed catch. Dylan Glear pushing. He misses. Towson is thinking about it. Going to be a team throw on one side. Never mind. No team throw there. No team throw there. Ohio State staying back. They only have three balls. Now they got four. They're going to take their time. A very methodical team. They like, they like to go at their own pace.
Good reset throw. All right, both teams resets. All right. Towson got to make a decision. They're thinking about it. Pump fake, throw, no dice, another throw, got him. Somehow they was able to successfully get out of that exchange. Ball higher say still have man advantage. Good throw. Two throws, nothing. Ohio State gets at least one of them back. Very defend. Oh, that's a kill. Take it out number 78 of Ohio State. Man, Ohio State's got some sweet jersey, by the way. You love to see it. It's a defensive standoff for both teams. One throw, nothing. Good block. Will they get it? The ball would stay right here. And another missed catch for Ohio State. Darren Glitter sees something. He, he dials back. He's taking his time. He's been around the league for a minute. He knows a thing or two about dodgeball. He's going to wait for his moment. Oh, that's a soft changeup, and he could not get it, and that could be a costly mistake for Towson. Costly mistake. That could... That could bite them in the rear end if they cannot get this point and tie this game one apiece. Ohio State is on the 10 count, but because they have less than three balls, no timer will be set. Towson with a team throw, nothing. Oh, another missed catch. And just like that, both teams five apiece. Both teams, five apiece. Five players for each side. They're thinking about it. Got them. 5v4 in favor of Towson. All right. Let's see what Glear's going to do. He's pushing up. Did he get him? Yes, he did. Taking out Tommy from Towson. Number 21. Just, oh my God. He's at least like 6'2", 6'3". It's not easy to be that out job. He's making it work. He needs a ball. Woo! Close. He's pushing now. Nope. Mm. The footwork is good. Some solid footwork from Dylan Glear. All right, team throw. No team throw. He's going to take his time. As soon as that third ball comes in, he understands that him and his teammates are going to throw at least one ball, but they're going to take their time. They're not in a rush. And just like that, things have changed fast and in a hurry. Two players left. Actually, three players left. Dylan Glear goes out, but somebody made a catch, and now it's a 3v3 situation. Nate, one of the better catchers from Towson, is in the game. Also a very good lefty, too, by the way. Kyle Strong is also in the game as well. And um, my man with the gray facial hair, we do not know your name because you do not have a jersey. So my apologies, sir. Good block. Textbook blocking for both teams thus far. Woo! You got to protect your, uh, your obliques. Because number 14 is creeping with the cross. Got him. Yup. There it is. Right on cue. Right on cue. Like I said, 14 with the cross. Caught my man sleeping. Nate goes out of that exchange. Now he sees something. And he wants to create an angle for himself. Just a tad bit too high. Is that a catch? Was that a catch? They're saying that it was ground. And yikes. This is not good for Towson. All right, he's going to try to play it off with Kyle Strong. Understandably so upset. Oh, but he still makes it up, though, with the catch. 
4v2. No, actually 3v2 now. Griffin Bass now, as a result, came in from the captain of Towson, and he's looking for something. Good block. All right, nothing there. Fair. Oh, he got him. One play left to beat. Not bad. Team throw. Safe. Another team throw. Still safe. Timeout. All right, just want to check on something real quick. All right, eight ten left in the first half. Eight ten left in the first half. Uh, if you guys are posting on YouTube and Twitch, uh, I cannot see your comments. Setups a little bit differently today, but uh, hopefully during halftime, uh, I'll be able to see. If you joined the stream thus far, feel free to like, share, and subscribe both to Twitch as well as YouTube. The setup yesterday was kind of, it wasn't bad. It just, it's just a lot of stuff that was going on. And I uh, want to make sure that people get good audio and whatnot. Um, and all right. 3v1 situation in favor of Towson. One play left to beat number 52 of Ohio State. All right, so two balls in the middle. Yep. All right, let's see. There we go. All right. Yeah, no. That's not going to work. That reset throw. Yeah, that reset throw is not going to work. All right, so Towson get all the balls. I believe that was a timeout for OSU. So they got one timeout left and a half. Now the rules is... You can call a timeout when the ball is thrown. If it hits you, you're out. If it doesn't hit you, you're safe. But if you catch it, that will count as a catch. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it. He had it. Not a bad attempt. Not a bad attempt. He he had it, but you know, sometimes it you know sometimes stuff happens.
All right, back, back at it again. Both teams want a piece. Good block, good block from Ohio State. Both teams want a piece, Ohio State. By many people believe, second best team in the Ohio region. Expert says, Towson, the best team on the East Coast. Towson coming into the day, into the war tournament, 0-2, with a tough loss against Akron. And a, and a difficult loss against uh, GV. If I remember my schedule correctly, please do not quote me on that. I'm extremely tired, and I'm only operating on like six hours of sleep. Actually, great catch by number 10 from Ohio State, by the way. My apologies, operating on four hours of sleep. So, might be slightly delirious for the moment, but I'll be better once I get some water in my system. Woo! What a power throw from Towson. No dice, though. All right, Freeman throws, not bad. Okay, Ohio State pushing up slowly. They they want to take control of the midcourt. Not bad. They don't mind playing from the back line and then pushing up when they see a weakness. Enjoys by himself. So he's in harm's way. Good spacing, though. Really good spacing from Ohio State. Good block. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a defensive battle between both teams. Ohio Towson like to push their opponents to the back line. Ohio State actually don't mind being on the back line. And they're spacing his textbook. And just like that, number 14, Joyce, goes down from Towson. Pretty sure the kill came from number 28 from Ohio State. We're we'll trying to get Roster's name by halftime, so my apologies for that. Good reset throw. Woo! What a shot and a trade. A trade by both teams. Nate goes down, and number 47 from Ohio State goes down. Glare playing the middle position, the toughest position in the NCDA, because you got to look from both the left, the right, and also right down the middle. Oh, got him with the clipper. 18 long goes down that exchange. Towson has man advantage. Sorry, Towson has ball advantage. But OSU is still very comfortable in this situation. They're not panicking. Oh, he made it. He had it. He had the catch. He had it all the way. He just dropped it at the worst time. He had it. Clear by himself. Now he got his teammates supporting him. Let's see what's going to happen. Someone's, all right, cool. Reset throw, good. All right, now High State's going to push up. Slightly. That's good enough for them. Reset throw. All right, so it seems like Towson is going to try to get Ohio State in the transition game. But unfortunately, they only got two balls now, so they don't have to throw. Team throw not successful. Several pump fakes. Missed catch. This time, number 13, Ohio State taking out my man. Wilson, number nine. Like I said, my apologies. I don't have the rosters right in front of me. Ooh, toe tapper. Curveball dip at the last minute, much needed for Towson. Good game thus far by both teams. Really, really good game thus far. Ohio State have exactly seven players. And same thing with Towson. Both teams have seven players. Another player goes down, this time number 34 from Ohio State. Towson still got seven players. 
Ohio State got six. One more player that goes down, and, and Ohio State will be on the 10 count once they have three balls or more. All right. They will, let, they will, oh, the pump fake would not allow them to get that ball, and that would still put them in a defensive situation. Ohio State has three balls, and now they have to throw, but they're on a 15-second shot clock. Same thing with Towson. Reset throw. They don't care. Towson still have ball advantage, 4v6. Oh, missed catch. you got to catch those. If you're going to die for those catches, you got to get a well-placed throw by number 13 of Ohio State. Time it perfectly. And both teams have six players left. Dylan Glear with a catch now makes it seven. And just like that, Towson is now on the 10 count and now make it four as Dylan Glear taking out Jake Freeman. And now he's amped up. And now it's only a matter of time if they cannot make the adjustments. And unfortunately, it's, it's about to happen, y'all. It's about to happen. Three players left for Towson. More than six for, for the Ohio State University. And now they're smelling blood, and now they're ready to pounce. Somebody made a catch for Towson. Three players left for Towson. Exactly six players left for the Ohio State University. Here he comes. Oh, got him, point blank. You got to make the decision. Oh, he pump fake him. Wow, number 78, very unselfishly put himself in harm's way to protect his teammate. Pretty much forcing Towson to, pre to pretty much, pretty much just pump fake them and make them play scare ball. And you can't play scare out here. You got to be regular. He did not care. He did not care at all. Let's see what happened, though. Let's see what the call is. Absolutely fearless. All right, so 13 is still in for Ohio State. Um, as, as well as number 88 from Towson. Yeah, you, def you, you definitely cannot play a fray out here, man. You, you, you can't do that. Definitely cannot do that. All right, let me see if I can, um, let me see something real quick. I got to share uh, the other stream on court two, so if I can. Well, I can. I just don't have the right phone on me, so my apologies for that. Pulling up YouTube now. Everything should be operational. Only 16 people watching. It's cool. It's cool. All right, this might be the worst of devices. Oh. All right, now we're going. All right, so two players left for Towson. So that kill was successful by number 13, and he's safe. And he's gunning him down. It's about to be bad. Oh, he missed it. No, he hit him. He got him. One play left to beat for Towson. They're waiting. Here it comes. Got him by the foot. Oh my God! Lord Jesus! The first shot was bad enough, but the second one, Lord Jesus! Yikes! Yikes! Vicious. Absolutely vicious.
college and they don't have a dodgeball team. Yeah, I know. Finally, we got some names and we got some monsters. I'm from the East Coast, so I know the majority of the people from Towson. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. So for Ohio State, we got number 14, Ryan DeLeffy. Doing Glear, number eight. Yeah, so Ryan, he's a head captain for The Ohio State University. Dylan Glear, assistant captain number eight. Ben, number 52. Evan, 10. Sam, number 28, also a veteran. Uh, Ethan, number 13. Um, Elijah Thomas, number 78. Miller, number eight. And we got Logan, number 18. Daniel, number 47. Will, zero. Colin, one. Man. Good, good. It's going good. Um, yeah, we get the rest of the players momentarily. But we got the roster, so at least now, you know. You know, now we can, you know, actually put some respect on their names. Let's see what my man Drew Funk got for me. As a start the timer real soon. Thirteen people watching, not bad. Uh good question. Um that's a good question. Um so that game is should be live, I think. You know what? Brett, my apologies, sir. I I'll figure out the the score on the other court at some point. I promise. Just be patient with me. My apologies, sir. I hope you're having a good time in Florida, man. You deserve it, man. It's good weather out there. All right. And we're off to the second half. All right. So Towson wants to play a more aggressive style. Um, Ohio State University got no problem being defensively minded and then waiting for their opportunities. So Towson's really going to have to capitalize on their throws and hitting their targets accurately because Ohio State has some very solid spacing all around. Jake Freeman pushing. Throw, got him. And down goes number 34. And that's going to be Jacob. Jacob Grow goes down that exchange. Oh, what a solid catch! The grown man move, number 78. Thomas with the grown man catch. Woo! The accuracy of Dylan Glear continues. Much needed, timely throw from Dylan Glear, right in the nick of time. The cross for number 14. Ryan just missed it just a little bit. Joyce and company, they're going to have to figure out something out. Ryan taking his time. Joyce caught my man sleeping, and Sam goes out on that exchange. Caught him sleeping just long enough. Yeah, 
you got to go for someone who doesn't have a ball. But that's kind of hard because Ohio State don't mind catching in these situations. Team throw unsuccessful, and Dylan Good and Dylan Glear will get a ball in his hands. It does make things a lot easier when you have a roster right in front of you. I'm just saying. But I'm holding two phones, so kind of bear with me for a second. Good reset throw from Dylan. Joyce. Nope, never mind. Kyle Strong with the throw, and he got toe tap. By once again, number 14, Ryan, the lefty. He's waiting. All right, Ohio State still pushing up. All right, he's safe. Number 10, Evan, with the missed throw against number 14, Joyce. He's taking his time. Joyce by himself. All right, he got some help now. Good pump fake, though. Woo! Pretty sure that was number 13 with a kill. Oh, you got to pay attention. Because Ethan got the kill, and I forgot who got the kill on the left side, but Joyce goes down at a change. You got to stay focused at all times. Good throw. All right, Tommy looking to push up. Griffin Bash with the throw. Woo! Miss him. Missed throw by Evan. Not bad, though. Another kill for The Ohio State University. Is that a kill? Is that a kill? It is a kill, and he got hit. Good kill by number one. I'm not for sure that's Colin or Matt. Cause there's two number ones on here. My apologies. Ooh. And 10 goes down that change. Griffin Bass. Oh, he stepped over the line. He's out by default. You hate to see it. Oh, drop ball. Drop ball. Got hit. One play left to beat. All right. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, boy. This is a tough situation. All right, so they're going to wait. They're going to make Tommy throw. Long throw. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen. Team throw. Bam! Headshot! Accuracy from Ryan, head captain of The Ohio State University with the headshot. Lord Jesus. Yikes. Actually, let me ask, hold up. I just made a mistake. My apologies. That's the correct score. Ohio State was actually leading two to one at the half. So they're actually up three to one now. So my apologies, that's, that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Ohio State had three points. That's on me. On here, it says 2108, but I figured out the official time from Kobe. But yeah, but it seems like everybody can hear me just fine, which is great. Kind of enhances the live streaming experience quite a bit. So thank you for tuning in on this wonderful Sunday morning in Akron, Ohio. The weather is nice for people in Ohio. I'm from Virginia. This is cold weather for me. This is actually uh, warm weather uh, if you're out here from Ohio. So yeah, so Ohio State is actually up. Yeah, so Ohio State's actually up three to one, not two to one. It was up two to one. Uh oh. All right, my man Gary with the throw, missed throw though. 
Reset throw by Evan. Good. All right, yikes. He's in range. Sam, Sam, yeah, you and Sam range. That's kind of dangerous. I would not get that close. Did he reach? No, he did not. Zero is still in the game. And Zero will actually be Will. Will Murray. Oh, that's a cool name. That's a really cool name. I like that. All right, Joy's about to throw Leffy. Never mind. Jake versus Sam. Jake was thinking that he was out. 28, Sam said, nah, I don't think so. Let's see if Evan's going to throw number 13. Never mind. That was Zero. Oh, wait, that is a catch by Tommy. And Will O'Murray, Zero of Ohio State, goes out in that exchange. This is the break. This is a slight break that Towson needs, but they're going to have to continue to chip away and to hit the Ohio State players with pinpoint accuracy. They're going to have to do a lot of pump fakes and a lot of stagger throws. Well, pump fakes and stagger single and team throws to get the job done. But like I said, just like Ohio, the Ohio State University is very comfortable playing the back line. Their style is just much different from the Bobcats from yesterday. Reset throw. Oh, got him. Wait, nope. Team catch. Team catch. And number two, Ella Miller is safe as a result. All right, let's see what Ryan's going to do. Captain, here it comes. Oh, he's safe. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Oh, he caught him sleeping and the taunting. Oh, man. Woo, man. I don't think Ryan appreciated that one bit. The lefty, oh, it clipped him. 24 goes out in that exchange. Joyce, no, no, Joyce is safe. Yeah, 24, Zach. Oh, he caught it. He got Jake out on that exchange. Number one. Yeah, like I said, it's two number ones. So I gotta figure out which one it is. So that's, oh, do not get caught sleeping. We'll figure out which number one is who. Oh, he caught it point blank. And he caught him sleeping. The catch is good. He might have stepped out, but the catch is still good nevertheless. Number 34, Jake will gro grow with the grown man catch. Timely bring it back one of his teammates. Pump fake. Sam, thinking about it. Same thing with Miller. Almost. Almost. That was close. That was close. Let's see what Evan's going to do. He's pushing up. He's thinking about it. He's going to, yep. Yep. Throw. Nope. He's safe. Both Helm and Griffin Bass are safe. Sorry, Ethan, not Evan. My apology, number 13. Ethan is his name. Evan Miller is number two. My apologies. Woo, man. You got to watch out for those angles, man. All right, so Ohio State has exactly three balls, so they have to throw at some point. But they got 15 seconds, so they can take their time. Oh, drop catch by number 47. Daniel Jordan goes out in that exchange. Team throw does not get it. Actually, Sam got clip. Number 28 goes down. Sam. All right, so Towson's feeling a little bit more comfortable. I think they're beginning to figure out uh, the Buckeye strategy a little bit and their spacing, their tendencies. They're beginning to figure things out a little bit. They still got time. Too many throws, but they get at least two of their balls back. Ethan was thinking about it. Oh, no! He would not get it. Drop catch by Joyce. Number 52. Ben with the kill. 
They're going to talk about team throw on the left side. Never mind. Oh, the soft changeup gets Mills out. Number two goes down that exchange. The soft changeup. Ethan is looking for Griffin back to make a mistake. He was waiting for the cross. He was looking for that mistake. Oh, he got him with, got him. Zero goes down that chain. Willemar goes down. Once again, you reach, I teach. Ethan goes down. Four players left to beat for the Ohio State University with more than six from Towson. Oh, that's a kill. 52 bid with the kill. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the ball's over? Wait, what happened? What happened? You know what? Let me hit the timer. I think that was a timeout. Yeah, I think that was a timeout. <laughs> yeah, you reach, I teach. Oh yeah. Oh final just final just a dice ball. Oh yeah, I knew you would love that. Oh yeah, I knew you would love that. Listen, if you play basketball in any variation and you hear the GOAT Michael Jordan talk, you you will know. Oh, yeah. I still need to um, see if the other stream is up. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I think we kind of figured out the Wi-Fi issue. So, you know, long story short, because I don't want to be super technical because some people may or may not care about this. Um, lower the bit rate, uh, which may lower the quality, but it will keep the stream stable. So, but I have a recording of this at a higher revolution, so I'll be able to upload that. Um, audio is good because I protected all my equipment. It's not on the front lines anymore. It's behind the bleachers. And I got my Osmo. So no tripod, so we good. Holy crap, let me hit this timer. All right, we're solid now. All righty, Towson still got six. Four players left for OSU. No catch. All right, the ball is going to remain right here. That's some bullshit. Anywho. All right, with that catch, Dylan Gleer is back in the game. Pushing. Not a bad throw. Pump fake. Another pump fake. Let me put up these rosters real quick. Yeah, maybe. Good block. Good block. But there we go. All right, we straight now. No worries. All right, so Ohio State has exactly two balls, which means they do not have to throw. That put them in a good position to catch. Now they got three. Now they have to throw, and they only have 10 seconds to, since they have less than six players actively on the court. All right. Oh, balls over goes against the Buckeyes. This is exactly what Towson needs. This is exactly what Towson needs right now. And apparently, because I'm also watching this on YouTube too, 13.38 left in the second half. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching it just like you guys. Like as I'm streaming, doing commentating, I'm also watching y'all on YouTube as well. So we're all in this together, y'all. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. Team throw, who they're going after? They definitely got my man. 78 Thomas goes down that exchange. Three players left to beat. Ohio State only have two balls. They do not have to throw. They understand this, and most likely they're going to go after number 10 or not. I'm about to say, you know what? I take that back. Probably not a good idea to go against number 10, Evan, in this situation, because you have Dylan Glear. Oh, Dylan Glear kind of reach. 
and unfortunately gets hit. Two players left. Evan, number 10, and 52, Ben, are the two players left. Both of these guys are captains. Oh, make it one player left. Let's see what my man Ben can do in this situation. Long throw, it will not work. You gotta do another throw. That will work. And Towson was not in a prime situation to get the catch. But let's see what Ben can do. He's still safe. No, he is still safe. But Towson don't need to worry. They just need to get a catch. Well, they don't have to worry about making a mistake. As long as they don't throw a catch, they should be fine. And that's a solid hit. And just like that, the game is tied. Whoa, 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 my apologies. Not tied. Towson is still down by one. In halftime, Ohio State was up two to one. Then it made it three to one, and then Towson just got that point. So. On my end, there's 12 minutes and six seconds left. I'm going to talk to Kobe real quick to figure out how much time is actually left, and then we'll go from there. Kobe! Kobe! All right, so we got exactly 12.17 left in the game. Yeah, 12, 17 left in the game. Didn't thank you for coming out. It's good to see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Appreciate the footage yesterday and the uh, hypeness of that double catch. Yes. I, I watched it like eight times listening to you. Like, shut the fuck up. No, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was a wild moment. Ah, uh, crap. I forgot to hit the timer. That's on me, guys. That's on me. I'm sorry. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, cool. We didn't miss too much. No one got killed off the exchange. Did Miller get hit? No, he's safe. He's safe. Miller's fine. Let's see what Ryan's going to do. Ryan and Ethan, 13, 14. Well, actually, oh, drop catch. You have to catch that. That was a catchable ball. Nevertheless, that is a kill for Ethan. Oh, easy changeup. Easy money. Easy changeup. Number 10, Evan with that catch. All right, so check this out. So we got number 10, Evan, and we also got number two, Evan, but Miller is, is number two last name. And number 10, I cannot, oh, out of back. You know what, let's go with the, let's go with the last names if I can pronounce it. If I can pronounce it, if I can't, I'm going to go you by your first name. No disrespect. I'm just going to try to make it work. I went to school to be an engineer. Oh, wait a minute. Good catch. Good catch by Garrett taking out number 24 from Ohio State. Oh, hold up, Sam. All right, let's see. Number 24 went out of that exchange, and that would be Zach. Zach from Ohio State goes down. All right, they got to get back. They got to get back. Oh, another missed catch. This side, number 52. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sam, I'm not trying to get my equipment destroyed. But yeah, we'll bend number 52 with the kill. Now Ohio State's pushing up, and now they smell blood, and they're going for it. The transition game. Oh, what a shot! Two players go down, number 78 Thomas and number 18 Long from a higher state goes down in that exchange. This is what Towson kind of wants to do. They kind of want to get Ohio State in the transition game. But that's an easy catch. You cannot throw at my man like that. That is just too easy. And we now know his name. His name is Colin. His name is Colin. So now we finally figure out which, that, which number one that is. And by default, we know who the other number one is. So Colin on our left. 
and the other number one in the middle, Matt. And now we know. And now we know. Griff, oh, no, no, no. Nope, no kill for Dylan. Joyce is still safe. Got to be careful. Good reset throw. Oh, good job. Kind of keeping Ethan number 13 from Ohio State at bay. But it might not work because if my man on the left side does not see my man Ryan creeping, he might get blindsided with a cross, and I can smell it. He's looking for it. All right, but his teammates was paying attention. That was good. And they might hear me on the mic, too, which is might be good, too, if you're a Towson fan. Maybe not good. Oh, my God! What a headshot by Ethan. Vicious. And just like that, another player goes down. All right, but Miller goes down that exchange. Sam does take out Kyle Strong that exchange. But like I said, Ohio State still has man advantage. And because of that, Towson have exactly five players left. And that is a kill. Now make it four. As soon as Ohio State has ball advantage, do not be surprised if they come aggressively towards Towson. They were just waiting for it. In fact, they got three. They're like, forget it. We'll, we'll take our time now. Now they got four. Let's see what Glare's going to do. Pump fake. Oh, what a good catch. Much needed. Take it out, Ethan. That's going to help the cost. Don't be too aggressive, though. Good job from Ohio State, kind of just keeping my man at bay. Oh, the lefty Griffin Bass taking out the other captain, Ryan. Captain to captain exchange. Griffin might have to take things in his own hands. Oh, but that's a soft changeup. That just kind of stay in the air for too long, and Ben took him out. Oh! Wait a minute. Will that ball? was not paying attention. But yeah, Matt goes, Matt number one goes out of the chain. He was waiting for my man to bait him. He wanted to catch, but Joyce said, fine, I'll do it myself. Speaking of doing it yourself, Sam caught my man once again. And just like that, two players left for Towson. Joyce needs a catch in the worst way right now. That will not work. You know what? He's in harm's way. That will work. Okay, that's going to be a balls over against Towson. That may have saved him temporarily. Because he was going to get lit up. As my mom used to say, you about to get tore up from the floor up. Vicious, I tell you. Vicious. And like I said, I was saying it earlier, do not be surprised if Ohio State was looking for the moment that they had Bolivan to come after the Towson players. Because they was looking for blood. And a whole lot of it, too. All right, let's go. All right, rightfully so. About to do a team throw. Let's see what Joyce going to do with a little bit of dance moves. All right, never mind. Just one ball. He's in the middle now. All right, he's still safe. Another team throw. Oh, he made the catch! He made the catch, and he's still in! He is still in. He caught out Dylan Glear on that exchange. He still kept his feet in. If they get another catch or kill, they will be on the 10 count. Oh, yikes! He got lit up. Two players left for time. Oh, missed catch. Sam got him out. One player left. He's completed to go out to save time. Colin, head coach of Towson, telling his, his last player to step out of bounds to save time. But unfortunately, might be too little too late.
the key word is might. 554. All right, cool. Let me update that real quick. The key word is might. It might be too late for Towson. The key word is might. Now, I, I've done commentating and live streaming for the league for a minute now, so... You know, I know, I know, you know, I know, you know, I think or two about wild finishes, all that good stuff. And also been a part of some wild finishers myself. It is possible for Towson to score within the next two points, meaning score as and eliminate all their opponents. It is possible. But they really, and I mean like they really got to capitalize on players not having balls and potentially hitting people in the transition game. Potentially. They got a small chance. But if they lose this point, whoop, whoo! Somehow, my equipment still stays safe. All right. All right, let's see. Garrett, nope, Kyle Strong will throw. Towson got to move quickly. Everything got to be quick. They can't move slow. He's way by himself. And Towson only got two balls. And technically, Towson does not have to throw. They're going to force Ohio State to push up, which they would have no problem doing. They have no problem pushing up. This is probably not the situation you want to be from Towson. Ohio State have really good spacing. Let's see how well the Tigers do and respond. Because they're going to need it. They will take their time. They will gladly take their time. One goes down. Ryan takes out Joyce. And Ben, yeah, and Dylan goes down to that exchange. Jake Freeman by himself. He's taking a huge risk. He might be, wait a minute, he sees, nope. Just didn't. Oh my God, Thomas is a savage. He is a full blown savage. Full blown savage. A full blown savage. You gotta have some you know what to do that. And just like that, the soft change up. Oh God, two, oh my God, but he stepped out. But he stepped out. But he stepped out. He stepped out. He had it, but he stepped out. He had it, but unfortunately, he did not have his feet in bounds. Timeout call. Lord Jesus. You know what? Let me see if I get. You know what? The game is final for um, Cincinnati, um, Saginaw. And based off of my assumption, I'm pretty sure Cincinnati won convincingly. No disrespect to Saginaw. I got nothing but love for them. But if my information tells me correctly, I'm pretty sure Cincinnati got the dub. Very positive. Very, very positive. No shade to nobody. Let me see if I can get this information quick, though. Breaking news, as I expected, Cincinnati beat Saginaw 5 to 0. Like I said, I knew Cincy was going to win. I knew that. Not a dig against the Cardinals. Not a dig at all. All right, long throw. Let's see what Griffin Bass is going to do. All right, they're going to take their time now. Throw, oh, got him. 
Wait, no, no, no. No, he said Griffin got way out. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, wait, who almost caught him sleeping. Time out. Time out. So exactly 3.02 left. Like I said, small window for Towson winning this game um, with exactly, at least on my end, 302 left. But Towson, they got to move quick and fast and in a hurry to have any opportunity. Any opportunity. All right, nothing. Reset throw by both teams. That that will count as a reset throw, but unfortunately, oh, drop catch and Ben. Actually, you know what? Out of lock. My apologies. We'll go by last names if I can. Good catch. Much needed. Much needed. Take it out number zero. Oh, drop catch. Drop catch by number one from Colin. Oh, got him with the clipper. 34. Jacob Grown goes down. All right, here we go. Like I said, small windows of opportunity. Ohio State has exactly six players left. Even if they give up a point, they're still good. Let's see what they got. Nate's going to take his time. He don't have a lot of time, though. He got to, someone got to get going. Uh-oh, yikes. Oh, he wants him to throw. Okay. Woo! Oh, almost caught him sleeping. Almost caught him sleeping, but he's good. All right. Log going all the way up. Oh, that's an easy catch. That's an easy catch. Let's see what Griffin's going to do. Out of back. Over here on my right side, as well as Long, also as well. And Griffin over to the other right side, your left, doing pump fakes. One minute left. Towson does not have enough time to get this to get this game. Yeah, they don't have enough time. Ohio State's gonna get this win. And this is also it's an upset, but not in the sense of what you think it is. Because remember, you got to remember Ohio State, sec supposedly right now, second best team in the region. Towson the best. Um, but Towson also lost to Akron yesterday, which some people might consider the third or the fourth best team. Good kill by Dylan Glear taking out Tommy. And that's pretty much all that she's going to roll. So you can pretty much do whatever you want at this point. Oh, God. Okay. That's pretty much all that she wrote. All right. So in that, Ohio State gets the win 4-2 to two over Towson. Next game coming up is going to be Towson versus Cincinnati.
Yeah. Okay, so this is why that loss for Towson was very important. Because, again, you know, I'm from the East Coast, played for VCU, founded the club, yada, 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 all that good stuff. 